Bonjour et bienvenue à notre épisode de TourDeFranceTips.com video. I hope my French is getting better. I've certainly been practicing a lot. Okay, a few things to talk about today. Firstly, why I'm wearing my helmet and sunnies. A few people have emailed and asked um, what I'll be wearing so they can come and say hi. Oh, recognize me on the Tap Alps. This helmet and these sunnies. And uh, this white, if it's really hot, this white top. TourDeFranceTips.com wear espresso on it so you can't miss it. Um, and if it's not stinking hot, I'll probably be wearing the black top. So definitely tap me on the shore and say hi. My num number is 2256. Um, or you can drop me an email beforehand and we'll organise to meet up. Uh, I'll be probably at Obar afterwards. It's just on the right, a little bit down from the summit. Um, really good coffee there. So I'll hang around there and have a coffee and a beer for a short time afterwards. And then I've got to nick off. So uh, otherwise, we can organise to meet beforehand. I know there's a couple of you who are in the area or a few of you who are in the area in the, in the days leading up so we can say hi and maybe go for a spin and grab a coffee, that'd be cool. Um, so next up, and why I'm, why I'm doing a lot more video, there's a lot more video appearing on the site, is from the survey. Now I want to thank everyone who's responded to the survey. Um, I know it wasn't long, but I really, really appreciate you going the effort. You guys are awesome. The responses have been amazing. Um, I've got some really good ideas for the website and content. Um, particularly around video and personal content and these videos are, are for the people like Ollie who've asked for more lunchtime filler so I hope that keeps you happy um, Ollie and gives you something to watch in your lunchtime uh, basically the survey was was generated or, um, or came about because I had some ideas for the website and wanted to see what you guys thought about them but also because um, I guess thus far over the last couple of years I've just been putting content over the side um, so to speak, over the side of the ship and, um, and putting it out there and, and seeing what, what everyone thought. Um, there's been some really good feedback, but um, I wanted to see what you guys wanted to see on the website and where, where there were kind of gaps and stuff I was missing and anything you thought should be added to the site. So some of the ideas, um, some of the ideas I probably can't use, um, many of the ideas I can. Um, a couple of the ideas have been um, amazing. Um, I think it was Chris um, who mentioned about some um, trip reports and stuff. So uh, there's a few other things that are already underway. I don't want to talk too much about them until they're ready to go. But um, yeah, definitely there's some really great ideas I'll be implementing. So um, this trip that I'm that I'm going to talk about in a minute, my trip for 2011 won't be just a holiday and all um, cavorting through the countryside. It's going to be some work as well. Uh, so next, personal content. So Kelly and a few others have asked for more content last year uh, about my trip, my trip um, specifically. Last year and the year before, I really deconstructed the trip and um, talked about my plans. Whereas this year, leading up, it's been more um, informative stuff for you guys. That I hope this has been helpful for planning your own trips. Um, first up, a few people asked about training and how everything's going for the tap. Uh, anyone who's been watching the site for a while or who, who's had a really good dig through the site uh, might have seen the uh, report from last year's attack 2010 up the Tormle, which was an utter nightmare for me. It was a debacle, horrible. I can't think of it. I can, I can probably reel off another 50 words to describe how terrible it was for me. Um, after the attack 2009, which was pretty good up the Vontu, um, I got really sick, couldn't train, lost a lot of fitness. Um, so it turned up last year, it was really underdone. Um, pretty disappointing, came home, got uh, Mark Fenner, you can Google him, he's a really good uh, coach, uh, to put some training programs together for me. So um, I'm about eight weeks into my third block of 12, so we're looking at about 36 weeks of training to, for this attack, not just for the attack, but for racing as well, um, and just to get my fitness back. So um, most of the hard work and, and the, the base kilometres have already been done, and this is just what's left now is sort of um, two hard rides a week to, to really um, get the intensity in the legs. I've also been doing a lot of running, so 12, 10, 12, 15k runs a couple of times a week, um, which are really shredding the legs and, and kind of cross-training the, um, cross the muscles. So it's not all just riding, there's some other stuff as well. Um, I've been doing one-legged squats with kettles and stuff like that to really, um, really force the legs to um, adapt and get stronger. Uh, so if there's if there are any of you out there, and I hope there's not too many who haven't done any training for the tap, um, you've got three to four let three to four weeks left. Um, it's probably too too late to do some really really um, really really useful training, but you can still do some stuff like the stuff that I'm doing um, or whatever you know in the gym, whatever you're doing, squats and bench um, bench or I guess bench presses and burpees and all that sort of cross training um, stuff. Uh, in the weeks leading, in the last few weeks, to, to try and um, tune your fitness up. 
Uh, one of the things you can do is lose weight. There's a really good post uh, on the site about losing weight. It's one of the most effective things you can do for your climbing. Uh, forget spending thousands of dollars on wheels and, and bike and stuff. Just lose weight. It makes a massive difference. And you can drop, you can probably drop a few kilos in the last few weeks. Um, I know TDF Tips reader Jerry has lost a lot of weight and he's noticing a big improvement in his climbing. Um, I might put a link to his um, blog in this post. Um, so for, for our, our plans, we fly into Paris. I'm taking my girlfriend the first time, which is going to be awesome. We've got a camper van for five weeks. Um, so straight from Paris to Geneva um, and chill out for a couple of days, let the legs um, acclimatise from the, the long flight and any jet lag. Uh, that was one of the problems last year. Probably had a few too many Bacardis on the flight over and got very dehydrated and then hit your tap straight away. Uh, from there down into the, the High Alps, so Bourg d'Oisin and St. John de Maurienne, and I'm going to try and do Quite a Fur, Isoard, um, Col d'Agnol, Bonnet Restafon in the days leading up to it to try and um, really tune the legs up. Uh, after the Etape Alps, we'll be heading straight down to the Pyrenees, um, get Caden to Spain for her birthday, um, stage or July 13, 14, 15 in the Pyrenees for the Tour de France, which is why I've got this hat on. If you see the Boxing Kangaroo and What Would Yens Do t-shirt and this hat, that's me. I'm going to try and get on TV again. Um, then we've got basically two and a half, three weeks in Spain. So Bilbao um, and the Guggenheim, surfing on the coast, um, Salamanca, Avila if we have time. Um, but really just playing it by ear, which is a bit of a challenge for me because usually the trips, um, I like it really well planned and coordinated. But this is kind of, we're a bit, you know, we're gypsies on this trip, which is going to be fun to see how it goes. Um, and then up back back up to Paris, which is a long drive back up to Paris. Um, hopefully via the Vontu, I'm going to try and do the three different approaches in one day. Um, I've done the Vontu a few times, and I want to do it um, from the three approaches all in one day, which is a pretty pretty big day. So uh, whilst we're on the road, I'll be doing some posts, photos, and stuff like that. So that's the the kind of personal side. So you guys can keep up to date with that, and hopefully I don't make you too jealous. Um, got some good ideas for some videos when we're on the road. Uh, Kate and I will try and make a few videos. Um, I think they'll be pretty funny, or they seem funny to us, maybe not to everyone else. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes on the site for the video from the road during July, and also posts um, in the next and the next couple of weeks, because I'm pretty organised this year, to be honest. Um, normally, it's a mad rush trying to get everything sorted, but this year, it's pretty well organised. Um, the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to be doing some video for the website, so. For those of you who are going overseas, um, and if you're watching in the future and you're planning a cycle trip overseas, um, not just to France but anywhere, uh, there'll be some posts about packing and recovering from long rides, not just the tap but any sportive, um, and some yeah some other video as well about last minute packing and what to think about. So keep your eyes on the site, and um, once again thanks to everyone who's done the survey. I really really appreciate it. it means a lot to me and. Um, you guys are giving me some awesome feedback and um, I didn't realise how, how useful the site was really. Um, got some really great feedback. Thanks for watching and see you in another video soon.